Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday morning, and I'm about to head out on my walk. That's why I look super duper hagged out, because I'm not trying to win a beauty contest. My friend comes over on Wednesday morning, and we go for a four, it's four or five miles. I don't know exactly how far it is, but um, so I just want to talk to you guys about getting motivated and getting healthy. A lot of you do videos like that, and, and I just love them, so I'm going to share my little tiny bit of one for you guys today. So one thing that really motivates me to do this walk on Wednesday is my friend coming over to walk with me. If she didn't come, I wouldn't be doing it. So we kind of keep each other accountable. I don't want to flake out on her. I don't want to be the one that flakes, and she doesn't want to be the one that flakes out on me. So that really keeps us going. And it's not that I love exercise, because I don't. Oh, I can't stand exercise. But I do love to walk with her. I love to talk with her. I love to catch up with her. And her mom comes too now. So it's just a great time of talking and yakking and catching up and talking about my favorite subject, what's for dinner tonight? Because, you know, I love to eat. So, um, And I haven't shared a lot of my weight loss journey with you guys, but I will share a little bit with you. Um, it's been, sorry, I don't know why I'm pulling on my fat there. It's been six years since I joined Weight Watchers, and um, so I've been doing it that long. I'm still doing it. I'm on maintenance right now, which means I have to go once a month and weigh in. I'm going to keep looking over there because she's about to come, so I want to see when she gets here. Um, I'm on maintenance right now, which means I have to go in once a month and weigh. And as long as I'm within my weight range, then I don't have to pay anything, and it's all free and good and everything. So I do love that. Now, I lost 50 pounds doing Weight Watchers, and it took me five years to lose 50 pounds because I am the slowest person on the planet but that's okay because I didn't gain weight while I was doing it. I stayed the same for at least three years. When I first went, I lost 25 pounds in the first six months, and I stayed there for a long, long time. And then when my daughter was um, in high school, she had struggled with her weight, so she came to Weight Watchers, so that's when I really buckled down and lost the rest of my weight. I guess because... You know, she was going, and I had to be all set in a good example and everything. So I finally lost it and reached my goal weight. And I have been at my goal weight now for a year and three months. Yay! Everybody clap because sometimes I feel like that's what I was paying to go to Weight Watchers for, is for everybody to clap for me while I was there. When I lost five pounds, people, everybody claps for you and and it sounds cliche and silly, but it did feel really good when you would, and, and everybody would encourage you. And so that's why I'm doing this video today, is because you guys always encourage me. Kiara from Mrs. Cotton Candy Darling Life, she did her motivational videos and would get outside and walk, and I, I just loved those. I mean, they're not like a big, humongous thing, but I just really loved it. I thought it was just a simple way to get me to want to get up and get out and do something. So that's what I'm going to do today is just talk to you a little bit about walking. Um, so Wednesday is my big walk day. My friend comes over and we do our walk. But also every day when my husband gets home from work, we also go on about a two-mile walk. Now, when he gets home, it's about 5 o'clock and it's still hot. And if we waited till it was like 7.30 or 8, it would be a lot cooler but for me personally, if I don't go um, when he gets home, if we don't go right then, if we wait till later, I'll be on the couch and then it's all over. I ain't getting up off of that couch. So we just decided that when he gets home, and I told him, don't even ask me if I want to go for a walk because I will say no. Just expect that we're going for a walk unless, unless it's just something weird happened and some bizarre thing that that's going to keep us from walking just expect that we're going for a walk when you walk in that door 
go take your work clothes off, your tie and all that, and go get your shorts on, and we're going. And it is still hot then, but at least we get it, and we get it done, and then we have dinner. So when I come in from walk-in, I am dripping wet. I have, uh, I'm just disgusting with sweat all over me. Not only do I look like this, but I also have sweat dripping down, so it's not pretty. So I take about five minutes. I sit up under the fan and let myself cool off, and then I start cooking on dinner. And you guys know I cook dinner almost every night, so... Yeah, so I better quit rambling because um, it's also what I eat Wednesday. So I have my cup of black coffee, and I'm just going to take a couple sips before I walk because I can't drink this whole thing because we got to walk, and I don't want to be stopping to pee. I have a couple sips of that just to get me going. I also have my banana. I always eat a banana before I go on a walk because it has a lot of... Um, it, bananas are carby, but they are really give you good energy for walking. So I always have my banana before I go on a walk. And then when I get back from my walk, I make two eggs, usually, two eggs, a piece of toast, and a medley of berries. And I've showed you guys that before on my What I Eat Wednesday videos. It's almost always two eggs, a piece of toast, and mixed berries for my Wednesday morning breakfast because... After that walk, I need you need protein to get back into your body. Well, I don't know if you need it, but I feel like I need protein to get me back on track, to get my hunger levels at an even rate so I'm not hungry. So we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And I'm sorry I look like this, but when I go out walking, I'm not trying to win a beauty contest. I'm just going to walk and get it over with. You know what I mean? Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, I'm back from my walk, and I am absolutely wringing wet with sweat. I know this is disgusting and gross, but sometimes you just need a good sweat, guys. Oh, my goodness. It was really getting warm out there today, but it just feels good sometimes to sweat. Once it's all over, I'm so happy I did it. If you ask me if I wanted to go, I would say no, but... After I'm done, I never regret that I've gone. So that's one thing that I always try to remember is once I've actually done it and once I've gotten back, I never regret that I did it. So that's why I just go ahead and do it. Just do it. I mean, it sounds cliche, that whole Nike um, saying that they do. Just do it. But it's true. Just do it. That's what I tell myself. Just do it. And then... Worry about it later. But now I'm done and I'm happy I did it. So now, yay, I get to eat my breakfast. I get to drink my black coffee and eat my two eggs, my yummy piece of toast, and my mixed berries. And that is so exciting because what time is it? It's 10 after 9 right now. And by the time I get my breakfast done and eaten, it'll be 10 o'clock. And it's only two hours to lunch. Yay! My most favorite time of day after lunch. I mean, after breakfast and dinner then lunch is my third favorite time of day. So thanks for watching, and you guys, just do it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, everybody. I'm back, and I hope I look better. So I got back. You saw me dripping sweat and looking atrocious. I hope I still don't look atrocious. Um, and so I got back. I drank my coffee cold because it was so hot that I didn't even mind drinking it cold. I had my two eggs. I had two pieces of toast instead of one because I felt like I deserved it. And they're small. They're the 40-calorie toast, and it was the end piece, and it was really small. So I just went ahead and had two. I had mixed berries with, um, it was blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, and oh, it was so delicious. Oh, it was so good. So, um yeah, so uh, I just want to encourage you guys, get out there, walk. You don't even have to start out a lot like I did. I will show you another video next Wednesday when I do my Getting Motivated video, and I'll show you how I started out, which is very, very, very small, and I do believe in very small. I believe you should start out doing baby steps and then gradually work up. So 
I'll share that with you next Wednesday, and I hope you guys have a great day and a great week, and we'll talk to you later, and thanks for watching. Now just do it. Just do it. Bye.